Welcome to Bridgehaw, the home of Sterling Wolves. Tonight, the struggling home team will face Watsonians, who are currently sitting top of the Fosrock Super 6 Championship. Good support from Eastgate. Now it'll come out wide, defence up very quickly, but there's the little offload in the pass. And despite the attempt, it's Seb Cecil who will go through for the opening score. Watsonians on the board after 12 minutes. As Muncaster started all this with a brilliant run off the back of the line, and then watch this delayed pass here, just there from Lee Miller to Seb Cecil. He pulls the defence onto him, and well finished. These sides have met eight times, still in counties as it was then. I've got two wins here. Bizarrely, it's always gone for well, the team classified as the home team, which Watsonians have been on half a dozen occasions. But it has always been pretty close. Now, here's the opportunity to get things moving out. Berg, Berg will go all the way through. That's powerful from Lewis Berg. Well, he got the pass, played to him, and the space was available. It's a third try of the season for Lewis Berg, and Watsonians extend their lead. And if they can get this right, he'll be the man that will receive the ball at the back here. And they smuggle the ball back to him. Fraser has it. No. What's on ends? It's good counter play. Forcing the men in white sideways. There's that offload on the inside oh. for Fita. Oh, bang, bang, and then. <laughs> well, the Tongan truck just ran over What's on ends? They're getting compromised here, Wolves. He pops off to the right and then back inside to Fafita. It's Rory Bland who takes the dunt. Taken well. Although Beresford's got himself in a good position, he might be hard to shift. Davis in there. The penalty advantage will come the way of the Wolves. Can they make anything of the free play? Now they'll take the penalty. It's not coming out there. Oh, it's quick. Fraser's gone quick. He's dropped down, but he's dropped short. Christie. Well, they're going to try and come round the corner again. And the try is given. It's levelled up. There's it. Fraser taking a quick tap. And there he goes, Hiddleston finishing off, coming over. No. He's in 15. Well, there's a chance to go driving all the way through, and that's precisely what they do. Clinical delivery, and then set up, and as soon as you get that momentum going, it's almost impossible to stop. Sterling might be struggling here. Now it gets pulled back, Miller onto Reynolds. Reynolds, a little pass inside, that's a good score. Angus Guthrie was repelled once, but he got on the front foot. I actually thought defensively, um, still in a good position, but Southern just fell off the tackle from Big Guthrie, the left winger, balled back inside, busting through that tackle and scoring. Inside onto Cecil, back inside onto Frostwick, gets the ball away, it's taken up well, can the prop make his way, it's Bobby Bratton at 17. Now they're close to the line, Frostwick opens it up, Miller will send it out wide, Guthrie. And this time, it is... The first try in Watsonian's colours for Quagga van Nierkirk. Get the ball away from there. That's where all the defenders are honey potting to get the ball out wide through Guthrie's hands to van Nierkirk, who scores in the corner. Good play. Finley Burgess. Smuggled that off to Fafita. Fafita. Well, he rumbled them away for fun. Fafita gets the ball on the inside. Southern trying to go through. He's trying to go into the corner and play it back inside. And Finley Burgess will go in and under the posts. It's a lovely piece of open rugby from Sterling Wolves. He'll take the conversion quickly through. 33-21. Really good score. This Finlay Burgess spotted it a short side, then Craig Robertson flicks a ball away oh. to Fafita, who just swats two or three defenders away. Then really clever play, draw the man, find Southern, who's flying down the left-hand side. And again, as the, draft, the drift defence comes across, it's really good work from Burgess, who started it all with a pass from the base to Hunt on the inside, get his score, and then in one movement, chip an extra two over as well. Good play. Watsonians led by 12 to 0, they trailed by 14 12, but they were too strong in the end. It's finished. Sterling Rules 21, Watsonians rugby 33.
Good afternoon and welcome along to Golden Acre for round seven of the Fodrock Super Six Championship. And it's Heriots and they'll be hoping to turn the tables on their city rivals and avenge their 26 points, the 17 loss at Megatland. Looking to try and carry the ball forward. He's, um, he's been overrun there by Dan Gamble who took the ball forward in Gelderbloom now. He's got Sadak in support. And the Heriots players now going through the back. It's Linus again. Two tries last weekend. Can he get another score on his tally? He can't on this occasion. But Ian Wilson returning to the side. Gets over for a score. Mr. Consistent. Just ghosts in between the defenders from close range. And it's the opening score for Heriots. Joins the attack now as the, the Burramuir player just not able to wiggle their way out from the breakdown quick enough for the liking of uh, Johnny Perry. Um. And now Houston looking to go cross field. He's made a good connection with that. And it's went straight into the hands of Niall Godsmark. And he's in for a score. And that was when you've got an advantage there. That was a, a perfect bit of play from Bruce Houston. Just noticed that he had a lot of part to play with. Puts a pinpoint kick in. And it's just outstretched the Burramuir defence. And Pecure was there just to gather it and go in for a score. And it's going to be Bruce Houston to try and stretch the lead for Heriots at Golden Acre. As we've got 10 minutes left in this first half, he gets another three points. And it's Heriot's 17, Burramuir Bears nil. And you've got to roll the dice now. And it's going to be a throw in from Ian Carmichael to this line out. And he hits the tail. And it's been gathered well there, but brought down. Leave him, leave him. I don't know if the referee has judged that to be legal. And now Burramuir looking to pick and go around the corner. The first time they've really had the ball in hand and so close to the, this Heriot's line. And the heavies all coming in now through McConnell. He's taking his time at the back, looking to just go it alone. He just to snake his way over. But again, the Heriot's defence looks strong now. McGinley looking to try and bounce his way over the line, but the ball has bobbled back. And then they get the ball down eventually, just sneaking over. And I think that's Rudy Swan who got the try there. The scrum half doing what all good scrum halves do. And notice when there's an opportunity and he just squirms his way in between the, the Heriot's limbs and gets the ball onto the try line and gets that score. Yeah, the Burramuir Bears managed to get themselves back into an attractive position as Bergen, his penalty brings proceedings to a close in this first half as we approach the hour mark here. And we're looking to try and get another score and get in touching distance of their city rivals and keep that gap between them and the, the Super 6 table. And Jack Mann now being asked to defend round the, the fringes and in these tight areas and Burramuir are doing well to stay composed and keep the ball in hand and go through the phases. And they're hunting in a pack there and it looks like they've squeezed through and it looks like the softest of tries. In terms of a, a Heriot's point of view, they've been very, very strong. But it does look like Callum Atkinson has wormed his way over for a score. And that's a solid right-footed kick, as easy as you like. He, um, he's not had a good afternoon with the boot, but I think... Uh, he would be silly to doubt his, his capabilities to slot it over from there and the penalty gives Burramuir the lead. Go through the, the execution of the skill. He hits well his jumper done. at the front. He's, uh, they've set up the, the mall well. And Elliot Young is just in front, just at the back of that mall. It's driving closer and closer towards that Burramuir Bears line. has been driven forward, the touch line is there, but the referee has signalled that the ball has been grounded. And I think it is going to be Elliot Young, the man who threw into the line-out. He is going to be the man who's getting the pats on the back at the end. He's going to be the man who gets the score. And that was good execution from Heriots. And we know how dangerous they are from five yards out. It's the green. They thought there was an opportunity there for Brown. It looks like it's opened up. Can Burramuir spot the gap in defence? But it's been well defended yet again by Heriots. Another powerful defensive effort there. That was Ewan Makara, the young scrum half. And Heriot's getting over the line, and I think that might be over. The whitewash and Borough Muir have got their noses in front at the death yet again. And I think that could be big Gregor Brown, who's got the score at the end there. And that's, uh, you know, that's just an example of being patient and being composed and looking after the ball. And you get your just rewards at the end. It was uh, certainly a frenetic finish here at Golden Acre, and it is Burramuir Bears who hold on for the victory. It could have been Heriots, but they just got held up in the dying embers of the game, and it finishes here. Heriots Rugby 22, Burramuir Bears 25.
Good afternoon and welcome along to Milbury, the final match of this weekend's series of fixtures in the Fosrock Super 6 Championship. And they'll want to go through their training ground routine as Farquhar has just the, the final sweet nothings in the ear of uh, Maguire just to make sure he hits the target and this will be straight off the training field. Samuel supporting his lock partner Edmund Bloodworth and it's Bloodworth who wins the ball in flight. There is the drive, here you can see the number two and Hooker, Maguire still trying to control possession of the ball with the scrum half, Cam Jones in behind, have they been able to do enough, the referee raising the arm, underneath the post he goes, and that's a fine start from Ayrshire Bulls, again just illustrating their power. Yeah, getting seven points straight from that mall because they obviously penalty they, try. Yeah, the conversions not needed to be taken. A penalty try that just shows you the the strength that they've got up front. Rudy Campbell wasted no time in, in giving that award as a as a penalty try. I was very surprised at how quick he was, but um, he's obviously he's he's based that on the fact that he he truly believed that uh, the Southern Knights were infringing to a degree that the uh, they were the Ayrshire Bulls were going to eventually score a score a try, and I think that there's uh, perhaps been a sin bin in as well. Uh, for Jamie Campbell, the ex-bigger man, you know, this is a dangerous position for the Knights to be in, and you know a bit of ill-discipline and a bit of uh, probably being out-muscled, perhaps, has uh, led them to be in this position. So Ayrshire Bulls get a chance to hit their target. Yeah, an aggressive start from Ayrshire Bulls. Bloodworth again winning the ball in the line. So that's two, three very effective line-outs so far for Ayrshire Bulls. Again, Maguire looking for possession, looking for control, looking to power his way across. And Ayrshire Bulls, determination power and a, an assertive nature to their contest and to their game and that's a, a fine score for them 12 points to nil with the conversion to come just over two and a half minutes of the first half left to play Bulls sit and look to finish on a brighter note recycled once more by Jones on towards the full back McNamara McNamara so close towards the line there was aiming to perhaps play a pass out towards the right hand side but his sidestep moving his body weight was enough just to open up a little gap in front of him and again we mentioned inevitability there was something inevitable about that outcome as you can see that uh, the two scrum halves coming together once more Cam Jones much the happier yeah, Cam Jones knows this uh, Southern Knights team very well. Obviously, played a bit of time at the Green Yards for the for the Knights, and um, he's, he's settled in pretty well to life at uh, Ayrshire Bulls. Rolls the ball into the scrum. Remember, with the services of Blair McPherson, who went off with a, an injury, but able replacement in Luce McNamara, and it's uh, picked up there and across the line they go the simplest of scores Cam Jones watching the work all the way of those in the back row McNamara just edging the ball closer and closer towards that line then the call for the scrum half to gather possession of the ball and then he goes for the try they've got all the, the forwards Cut. in the one area and they'll be looking to try and stretch this uh, it's the next nice defence yeah, Coach and staff will be looking for a more clinical edge to be shown, given that uh, they spent quite a bit of time in this section Nine. of the pitch. Jones and Pickles then alongside Nine one another as Jones watches on up. again. Could be a carbon copy of what uh, happened before. Jones yeah, under a little bit of pressure this time. He's able to find his fly half though, who's going to be over for the score. William Hunt showing some good Use upper body right strength. Was able to sidestep a couple of challenges as well. And the outstretched arm and hand touching the ball down for another score 31 points to nil and that I'm sure will satisfy the Ayrshire Bulls coaching staff McGee will feed the ball into this Southern Knights scrum after that forward pass it's picked up by Sam Derrick who knows the number 8 position well started on the blind side for the Knights this afternoon McGee was at inside centre now taking on the scrum half row though that's a fine line now and Aidan Cross is going to be in for a score and well they've had to wait 76 nearly 77 minutes to score but that was a fine piece of play from the Southern Knights and quite rightly applauded as Ayrshire Bulls 31 Southern Knights 5 is the final score. 